Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, clearly I'm reviewing another item from Galen Leather. Galen Leather is a Turkish based company from Istanbul. Uh, they make amazing leather products, lots of pen cases, notebook covers, those kinds of things. And they've really gained a really wonderful reputation all over the world for their beautiful, well-made products. And this item is no exception. Today, this is an item I really enjoy. I've been using it for the last few weeks. It's been going with me kind of almost everywhere. Uh, and I think it's unique, well-made, and uh, a really nice design. And that item is this. This is the uh, Writer's Leather, uh, the Writer's Bank Bag, sorry, from Galen Leather. As you can see, here's a little belly band that's just placed around just to give you an idea. Um, this is the Forest gr Green Crazy Horse Leather version. Um, I'm going to talk about the parts and features. Then I'm going to do like a sample fill uh, of this lovely little case uh, and talk about some pros and cons. So let's get started. The case, the little case bag, writer's bank bag here is 100% handmade in Turkey uh, and it is made from full grain, 100% vegetable tanned cow leather. Um, and this green, I think is beautiful when you see these beautiful highlights. In fact, if I just read from uh, the website, it says distressed dark green color showing undertones of light green, Sacramento and emerald. Ages and softens quicker compared to regular leather. And that's one of the things I love about the Crazy Horse leather is the fact that you can see, you know, it's sort of life on it. It's got scuffs, it's got marks. And instead of like ruining a polished sort of, you know, lovely, smooth, beautiful leather product here, this is a working piece. This is... The, a lot of you know who follow my channel. I am a user of these items. I don't just get them to collect them and put them aside. I use them. I love them. Uh, and I, you know, if they show my life, all the better for it, in my opinion. You can see this is roughly sort of A5 size. If I just give um, the dimensions, it's actually bigger than A5, designed to hold an A5. Uh, so the dimensions are uh, 19 by 26 centimeters and two centimeters wide, although that depends obviously on what you're gonna put in there. And you'll see when I do my full fill, it's definitely more than two centimeters. Uh, that's roughly uh, 10 by 10.25 inches by 7.5 inches or 0.75 inches thick. Uh, and it weighs 315 grams. So this pads out a lot when you fill it, it's kind of good. It's A5 notebook size, and if we, Look at this, it's got a lovely uh, YKK zip that goes sort of halfway around the long edge and then down one short edge. Um, and then you open it up and you see this insert in here. Now this insert is what makes these products very, very cool. Seven pe elastic pen slots, nice, good, strong uh, elastic. You've got card slots down the side. And then on the reverse of this, you have this sort of slip here or this sleeve um, that or a slot if you will which is for a notepad or uh, a notebook um, and I'll show you how I've been using this a little bit later so this is the softer sort of side the the less the less polished side of the leather you can see lovely stitching work as always with Galen leather everything is beautifully made and edged and you've got these beautiful beveled edges and everything sort of waxed nicely and uh, pre-distressed and all of that kind of stuff so as i said seven pen slots and it will hold pens uh up to i think about 150 millimeters um, in fact, I have one around that length here uh, today. It's actually 151 uh, that we're going to put in here just to show it in action. And as I said, the case holds an A5 notebook. And this insert is roughly sort of, you know, even closer to that A5 size. Now, the insert actually is uh, 22 centimeters by 16 centimeters, which is 8.75 inches by 6.3 inches. So just slightly bigger, of course, than that A5 size, which makes it a perfect size for an A5 notebook. So that is the, basically what it is. The sleeve here has the, you know, once again, beautiful, you know, sewn in zips. Uh, which uh, hold beautifully. The Galen leather products are made really, really well and they really, really last. The leather is super high quality. The zips are super high quality. And of course, all the stitching is done to, with a, a crazy amount of attention to detail, as is the planning of these items. Actually, in the last couple of years, I've noticed a real sort of like 
development in a lot of their products that uh, the usability actually has taken a step up again uh, you know so things like this or the the uh, magnum opus pen case here um, with a you know, little insert tray and that kind of stuff these are items that are are really usable uh, and uh, practical and serve a really good purpose so I wanted to show this back uh, slip here the you know the back of the insert and show how uh, it can be used so this I've got this Rodia a5 pad here if you just open up to the back uh, you can slip that underneath uh, that cover there and then you have this beautifully backed and you know covered notepad there so you can take this out of the sleeve you've got your pens everything ready to go take your notes and uh, slip it back in and it's well protected and looked after it's a nice easy way to carry all your things together um, and another way that can be used is for um, a notebook and I have here my bullet journal which is an Archer and Olive A5 notebook um, and same thing goes you can put that back cover in this and then your notebook uh, is you know on this cover which uh, is a handy way to carry it. Um, I'll talk about this in the cons, but you know, obviously if you've got things on the back here, um, it's gonna sit uneven on your desk. Um, so I prefer to use this myself um, with the something like the Rodia pad there uh, and sort of have it handheld. It sort of like becomes a bit like a clipboard, you know, that old, you know, notepad, line pad on the, on the clipboard for taking notes sort of by hand. And it gives you a nice sort of firm surface to write on. So we've got the Rodia on the back here. Let's now do a little bit of a fill of this front side. This is the kind of the kind of thing I would normally carry. Um, I often carry, you know, a mechanical pencil. I use that a lot for work. A ballpoint pen of some variety. At the moment, I have the Gravitas Pens Twist, uh, which is a wonderful, wonderful pen. Love it so much. I also love the fact that it's got a it's got a flat face on that side, which actually sits nicely against the leather of the uh, insert here. And then just a range of fountain pens. So we'll put in Alami Safari just because, you know, everyone knows Alami Safari. It gives a sense of the size of this. A Pelican M2000, nice sort of smaller fountain pens. Beautiful, actually. Uh, another very slim fountain pen is the uh, Diplomat Traveller. Uh, we've got the Bennu Talisman. And then we've got a big boy. This is the Ranga Pens uh, Model 3, um, which is just over 150 uh, millimeters so that gives that sort of top length now this size uh, is designed to be appropriate for things like the Pelican M1000 or the Mont Blanc 149 that kind of pen got these card slots or down the side here um, I'll put a couple of my business cards just down in one of those just a couple of stamps which is handy in there to have and then I've got this Galen leather card book which uh, is such a cute little piece a little Tomo River notebook there so that is the front side, and then we've got the Rodia pad on the back there. So let's now put that in the cover itself. So we slip that in, and then as that is, we can zip it up very easily around, and it is done, ready to go. Obviously, the writer's bank bag gets that uh, that name from you know those old bank bags that you put your checkbook in, and you know all the coins and cash and stuff that you're taking to the bank, or um, it was just a handy way of keeping everything together, and you tuck it under your arm, and away you'd go. This is the writer's version of that, so it's designed for the notepad for the A5 notebook. There. Now, this is all well and good, but there is still room in here. So, one very simple thing you can do as I have a Midori A5 notepad here. This is the, the slim one. You can easily put another notepad in there or papers or anything you need on hand. Um, with the weight being 315 grams, it's gonna depend on how much you put in there and what you put in there as to how much it will weigh. Obviously, if you're putting big, heavy, um, you know, cast notebooks with that stone paper, uh, which weigh quite a lot, it's gonna add more weight than if you're using like little slim A5 Midori notebooks. If I just take that Midori notebook out now, I'm gonna show you how I fill this um, and what I have. So I've showed you my Archer and Olive notebook before, the uh, A5 Archer and Olive here. I actually carry this in here because this is my bullet journal. So this goes with me everywhere. I use this on a daily basis um, for my planning and for note taking and to-do lists and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I can fit that down in this pen case. Now, it is a squeeze, 
but obviously one of the nice things about leather is that it, over time it can kind of conform to what you put in there and will kind of mold around the size and shape of everything that you're using. So you can see there, it all kind of fits. Now, generally, I don't carry that many pens in here, and I definitely don't carry, like you can see these points here where that big Ranger 3 uh, pen is really like tested to its limit. I don't normally carry that much in here. I normally would carry a couple of fountain pens and you know a ballpoint and a pencil. Um, so it is pushed to its limit there. Um, but that is what it is capable of holding. Okay, so let's now talk uh, the price. So this retails in Australia for 112 Australian dollars. Now that is from the Galen website as I looked at it today. Uh, you can also get Galen leather products through a number of retailers, uh, both physical stores and online stores, but this is from the Galen website directly. 112 Australian dollars, 72 euro, 65 pounds or 79 US dollars, which I think for a full grain leather hand, handmade, uh, although made on mass, but made by hand product, I think that's actually a very, very good price. Galen are known for their uh, really, really great prices. So let's now talk pros and cons. I don't really have a lot of cons. I think the only two cons I have are the fact that if you do want to use this, um, you know, sort of as a notebook, your pens are going to make it sit uneven. Um, and so that is, you know, if you're conscious of that, if that's an issue for you, that might be something you might not want to do. You might not want to put your pens down on a desk like that. And this is the other con I have. If you have slim pens, um, these elastic slips are actually quite big. They're great, they're strong, but they are quite big. Um, and unfortunately, if you want to get your clip over that elastic band in there, your pen's going to hang off that end. And that doesn't change if you go the other way. So we're going to hang off the other end there. So for some pens, it's just not going to be the right size. But you can see here from a Pelican, you know, M200, which is a slimmer pen, you know, a, a, a Tombow mechanical pencil there, a, no, a number of things are going to fit quite nicely. As for the pros, there are a number, but let's keep it simple. I like the capacity. I like it can hold seven pens. It's got room for a few extra bits on the side. You can put that notepad or, or book on the back there, and then you've still got room in the cover for, you know, a slim notebook or some papers or, you know, a small another small notebook. Or even, as you saw, you can stretch it out to fit that larger A5 notebook. So the capacity is really good. The functionality is great. The fact that this little simple unit can easily, what I tend to do is have my pens working in here. I put this on my desk and then I take out my bullet journal and I've got everything I need for my bullet journaling session right there, uh, ready to go. Um, so the functionality of this and the fact that it's everything is protected in a nice leather bag, I think is really, really cool. And in a way, of course, obviously, this is the big brother of the, um, the slip and zip four pen version, which I have here, uh, which has the little insert, which is a separate uh, piece there, just a very simple you know, four pen insert. You put that you know, in there and then your notebook or your papers and things, and it keeps everything nice and tidy and clean and out of the way. I'll say also that the pen insert for the zip and slip is the elastics are at the right point to go for the, a lot of more clips to reach before you go over that line. So that would be a simple, easy design a redesign feature for this, you know, pen case to move the elastics just up, you know, and an inch to ha you know, half an inch to an inch, uh, and they'll catch uh, a few more sort of clips to allow slimmer pens, the ones that have clips, to fit in there. That's just a minor issue if that's going to affect the pens you carry. So this was the Galen Leather Writer's Bank Bag. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. A big thank you to Galen for sending this and a number of other products out for review over the years. Their support has been amazing and they are a wonderful company with great customer service uh, and, you know, the, the testaments to their, uh, to their work stand not just from me but from, you know, a multitude of people the world over. So a big, big thank you to them. Uh, check them out. I'll link to uh, their website below and you can have a look. Um, if, you've, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. If there's a way you would like to support the channel, I would love to hear from you.
In the meantime, however you carry your notebooks and all your pens and bits and pieces, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.